hey guys welcome back to another android video from coding stuff and here we are in the qr code series so till now i have covered videos about how you can generate qr code uh, in android studio and then i have created video about how you can share that generated qr code to other applications with the help of content provider and in the previous video uh, i have talked about how we can integrate qr code scanner with the help of jinx library and now in this video we will integrate a google code scanner which comes under the ml kit so both of these jinx and google code scanner works pretty well but i prefer google code scanner as it detects the qr first uh, from all of the frames that it can capture at that time and then it decodes the qr and it also has the zoom functionality so let's say if you are scanning a qr from distance then uh, it will first detect where the qr is then it will zoom the qr and then it will decode the QR. So the scanning range of this Google Code Scanner is more as compared to the Jinx library. So that's why I prefer a Google Code Scanner. All right, so let's integrate the Google Code Scanner. First of all, uh, I'll provide this link into the description box. So we need to get the dependency form here. So over here, let's just copy this dependency. And coming to the Android Studio, I have created one empty project and it has one button and one text view which this text view will hold the value whatever we scan from the uh, scanner. Cool. So let's just uh, go to the Gradle scripts and libs.version.uml. I'll collapse the project view and I'll paste that dependency over here. Then I'll copy this Android X activity dependency. I'll paste it over here. Then I'll rename this as a Google scanner. And from the start to the first column, we need to put it inside the group. And from the first column to the second column, we need to put this inside the name and then the version. So let's just copy the version. We'll go back to the activity at the top. I'll duplicate it. I'll paste that version and then I'll rename this as a Google scanner. Cool. Then I'll copy this and I'll paste it over here. So let's just remove this implementation and we need another dependency in order to install the barcode scanning. So let's just go back to the Google Chrome and uh, yeah, uh, module install client API. So we'll click on this and we'll copy its dependency. So we need this service base, Google uh, Play services base. So I'll copy it and I'll paste it again over here then I can just uh, copy this one or I can duplicate this so control D and this will be same so we just need to copy this part and we need to put it inside the name and then we also need this version so I'll copy the version I'll duplicate this and I'll paste that version and let's just rename it as a play services I'll copy it and let's just paste it over here and let's just uh, rename this as well so play services and I will remove this implementation cool so let's just go to the build.gradle app level and here I'll copy this constraint layout and here uh, we need to write google and then the scanner and I'll duplicate it again and let's just go to the Google yeah we need a play services so also here let's just write the play and then the services cool so now I'll click on the sync now and it will install the dependency all right so our gradle is synced uh, now I'll close this I'll close this and let's just go to the main activity and here I have already find it the IDs of our widget so button and one text view so here what i'll do i'll call one function which will be register ui listener and, and i'll create that function over here so private fun register ui listener and in this function i'll attach on click listener to our scan qr button so scan qr button dot set on click listener cool and we can move this code inside the initvars function. So let's just create initvars. 
and I'll create that function over here so private fun and it was and in this function I'll paste finding the IDs cool so at the top uh, what we need to do uh, we need to call one function which will install the Google uh, QR scanner so install Google scanner and let's just create that function over here so private fun install Google scanner and inside this will we need to create one module install and this will be equals to module install dot get client and we need to pass the context here cool and then uh, we need to create one request so module install request this will be equals to module install request dot new builder and then uh, dot add API whatever the API we want to download or install into the device so we need to mention that API over here so that will be GMS barcode scanning this one as you can see this is coming from mlkit vision dot kit client and again we need to pass the context cool and then uh, we just need to call dot build then we need to use this module install dot install module and here uh, we need to pass the request so module install request and then we get bunch of uh, listeners here so we can attach on success listener and on failure listener so add on success listener and then we also have the add on failure listener and with this failure listener we get one exception so we can just uh, display the toast so make text and we need to pass the context here and it dot message and then the toast length so length short dot show cool so inside the on uh, success listener what we can do we can keep one variable let us just create a uh, one private var of type boolean so let us name it as is uh, scanner installed let us just make it false initially and we can make it true inside the success so equals to true and we can make it false over here so false so you can handle this uh, based on the requirement i just kept uh, this inside the boolean so we can just go to the register on click listener and here we can have that check so if the scanner is scanner available or is scanner installed otherwise we can display one toast so let me just copy this toast and we can write some message here so i'll write let's try again So this way our uh, Google scanner will be installed and, and if it is installed uh, we will call one function which will be start scanning. Let us just uh, create that function at the bottom so private fun start scanning. So now in order to start the scanning uh, first we need to initialize the Google scanner so till now what we have done uh, we have installed this uh, gms barcode scanning module into the android device so this this will only install the uh, gm barcode scanning module only once in the device and it will not install the module again and again when you open the application this will install this module only once and and even if the module is already installed this block will get executed and will get e scanner installed uh, true all right so now what i will do uh, first i'll create one late init var so private late init var let's just uh, name this as a scanner and this will be of type gms uh, barcode scanner and then we will jump to the init vars and here okay let's just uh, create another function so private fun initialize Google scanner and here GMS uh, barcode scanning 
scanner options dot builder and we can set few uh, properties to this so we'll set the barcode format so set barcode formats and barcode dot qr format you can specify the format that you want to use here so barcode dot format qr code and then we'll also enable the auto zoom so enable auto zoom which is really important or which is really helpful when we are scanning the qr from the distance and then we just need to call the build okay again you can set a few more properties to this and what we can do uh, we can simply return this from here so return and we need to specify the return type so we get the gms barcode scanning scanner options here and then we'll go back to the initverse and here i'll create one variable which will be options and this will be equals to initialize google scanner so then we can use this options uh, to initialize our scanner so scanner equals to gms barcode scanning this one and then dot get client we need to pass the context so this and we'll pass the options cool so our scanner is initialized and now we can go to the start scanning function and here uh, we just simply need to uh, use this scanner in order to start the scan we have one function which is start scan and we get multiple callbacks from this so add on success listener will we can also have the add on cancel listener and we can also have the failure listener cool so inside the uh, add-on success listener we get this barcode so we can use this and we can uh, have one variable which will be valid results so this will be equals to barcode or it dot raw value so as this it is uh, nullable this will be also nullable so what we can do we can wrap this result inside the null safety block so question mark dot let and we'll use our scan value text view so scan value tv dot text we'll set the result this will be equals to uh, it dot let it just how scanned value here so scanned value plus it cool and then we can just optimize this with build string callback so build string cool so this will be happy and then we'll jump to the add-on cancel list now what you can do we can just uh, copy this text and so when user will press back or somehow he close the qr scanner this add-on cancelled listener will get called so here we can just display the cancelled message and then again here uh, we can use the exception so let's just remove this and it dot message cool so yeah i guess everything is done so first we install this uh, gm barcode scanning module into the device and if it is already installed uh, this will not install this gm barcode scanning again and again but it will go inside this block and yeah then we initialize our scanner google scanner and then we use it when user clicks on the scan qr button we also check if the scanner is installed or not and inside this we use the scanner variable and with that we got start scan function and we get a bunch of callbacks there or add on success listener add on cancelled and add on failure listener so let's try to run the app and we'll see this is working or not so our application is installed and what i have done already i have opened this qr generator site and i have generated the qr for this coding stuff so our qr is here so now what i will do i'll just click on this scan qr button and yeah and yeah as you can see it scanned this qr and we got the value coding stuff so yeah that was it i hope uh, it was pretty simple so so yeah i will provide source code in the description box and if you have some errors you can check with that so yeah that's it for this video do subscribe and thank you for watching